Hey, this is Asbog, and I wanted to let you guys know about something that's going on in Black Desert Online. I was not super familiar with this until I started reading the Steam reviews as it was released on Steam, and it's one of the top sellers on Steam at $9.99 right now. And I haven't played Black Desert in a while, um, just because um, I've been playing other games, and I've just been busy with other things. Um, as you guys know, I have like quite a few Black Desert videos on here. I like the game. I still think it's probably one of the best MMOs out there on the market. And I don't want to get all into the criticism of the game, but one thing that people are saying, it has something called Zing Code. And a lot of people have been downvoting this game on Steam because it basically installs a root kit on your computer um, to some effect or basically has anti-spy or anti-cheat stuff, but it doesn't really let you know where say when you're playing Diablo 3 or other MMOs they kind of say there's something called I believe a game code or they have other anti-cheat software so a lot of people have been don't like this sort of behind the back uh, method of installing an anti-cheat program the problem is too is apparently uh, if you value your privacy a lot on your computer Zing code actually it will read off if, it, the, if it's running, so basically every time you run Black Desert, it reads everything you've been doing on your hard drives for the last 48 hours. And you can assume that the information is sent over to uh, the game the gaming place. So I'm not here to say if, if you don't value your privacy or you have like a gaming station, which you're basically just playing games, but if you like your privacy and you don't want your a lot of people probably use their computer for a lot of different things, even like banking and so forth. And what I'm trying to get at is people don't want their computer to be infiltrated without their knowledge. And this game gives administrator access. Um, and I was just reading through like what a lot of these sort of develop programmers that are more in tune with what this is uh, for Windows programming than I am that know a lot about um, the reg edit stuff and so um, I just found a way to uninstall it. I haven't, since I haven't played it in a while, um, I found this post here and basically it gives you these three steps to install it. I think you can actually uninstall it after every time you play the game. And there's another one, uh, another file name you could uninstall as well called unzinc.cmd or similar files. Um, I haven't loaded up in a while and I've restarted my sh machine and unfortunately after this news I was kind of um, inclined to agree with these guys and a lot of the negative reviews um, and I did not know that they had this of course I believe in having anti-cheat but not something to where it's so how should I say persistent and apparently a lot of cheating software is injected through the memory so now you know the story behind this Zing code and with Black Desert Online how to remove uh, how do we remove this? So the first thing you had to do is, if you don't like this at all, you would uninstall the game, unfortunately, until they would sort of patch this on uh, their end, the Black Desert guys, Black Desert developers. So there's just three steps I just followed here. And the first one is I typed in, I went to a command prompt. So I just typed in the command prompt uh, through the Windows Start. I'm using a Windows 7. And uh, so the first thing I typed in is net stop X Hunter One. X Hunter One is the I think the service that um, is running in the processing thing under your task manager. So if you see that X Hunter One there, that is uh, the actual anti cheat software that's reading what you're doing on your hard drive. And another thing, reason why people didn't like this is because they might be selling it to marketers, which is typically how a lot of this stuff works. The next thing you want to do is type in this long command, reg delete, h key underscore local underscore machine uh, slash system slash current control set slash services slash x hunter one. And when I typed in the first one, it said it, the service had not started. But when I deleted this, it actually gave me um, a yes or no. I hit Y for yes, and it said it, it deleted this reg. So it did like, this is where it's injected into the registry, so you need to delete it. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a computer science person, I'm an orc, 
So I'm just trying to give you the best of my knowledge on this um, with this video here. The last one you want to do is uh, delete C colon slash windows slash hunter one syst. And uh, nothing, when I entered it, it said it could not find uh, the file for this. So I'm assuming that it's not running and it's been uninstalled out of the registry. And since the, in my case, the application had not been running, and I'm assuming it's not been running for a while since I haven't played, loaded up Black Desert, that it doesn't uh, run. So there's a lot of, what, just in conclusion, there's a lot of shady stuff with this. It, it is a little shady. Um, I think Black Desert's a great game, and uh, the new class also looks really cool. The next game I'm looking to play is Destiny uh, 2. So check that out on this channel. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, and uh, check out my other Black Desert videos if you guys still like Black Desert and want to play Black Desert. There's a lot of useful videos here about Black Desert because I still think it's a great game. And I'll see you guys in the next chapter.